Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello. How are you? Fine, teacher. Excellent. Not bad. And you? Me too. Not too bad. <laughs> but not too good. Hello, Roberto. Hey, ready? Ah, okay. I understand. Okay. Okay, so we are on Wednesday. Welcome. Thank you for being punctual. Ah, I sent you the video. Okay, you can check it later. Hello, Karen. You can check the video later. The video, it's um, a little bit long but it, uh, she explained different things. She started talking about the, the words that are offensive, como eh, algunas que les mencioné el día de ayer, like uh, black people, nigger, yellow, para la Chinese or Japanese, eh, Asian, for Asian people, um, Red también. Um, menciona ahí algunas que son uh, racist or offensive. So you cannot use it. Then she explained the correct word to, to, to say or to name the skin colors. Okay, and yes, white, it's correct. White and black, but you cannot say black uh, men together because that, that's offensive, but only black, yes. Okay, but black men, no. Also she mentioned colored, okay, colored. Um, then uh, she talked about uh, different, uh, la, ethnics um, and at the end uh, she talked about other colors like yellow, green, gray and those colors uh, are used when you are sick okay, when you are sick pallid uh, she mentioned others so the video has a lot of, a lot of information you can check it it would be good to be to know, like cultural, cultural talking. I think she's Canadian. She's Canadian, but also applies in, in countries, in, in English, in, in English speakers countries. Okay. So I'm going to check the attendance. Why are, veo bien poquito today. Se durmieron, tal vez. <laughs> ok.
Jocelyn Natalia. Jocelyn, not here. And no. Sande? I'm here. Okay. Karen? Present teacher. Okay. Karina? Karina, no here. Uh, Carla Melissa. Carla Melissa. No. Catherine. Catherine Stephanie. Present teacher. Okay. Leslie. Leslie. Present. Okay. Present. Okay. Lisbeth. Present teacher. Have a good night. Thank you. Lucia. Present teacher. Okay. Luz Virginia. Virginia, no here. No. Mar Margarita. Present teacher. Okay. Maria de los Angeles. Present teacher. Okay. Martin. No yet. Nelly. Okay. Melissa Guadalupe. Melissa Guadalupe. Michelle. Present teacher. Okay. Roberto Carlos. Present teacher. Okay. Roberto Eduardo. Uh, present teacher. Great. Rodi. Present teacher. Okay. Sandra. Sandra. Sí, presente. Okay. Selma. I'm here. Okay. Stephanie. I'm here. Excellent. Victoria. Present. Great. Okay. So we missed some people. I don't know what happened. Okay, yesterday also. Ah, okay, Carla. Carla, Melissa. Okay. Martin. Ah, Martin. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yesterday, also, we were talking about clothes and accessories, right? Um, yes. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, wait a minute. I'm in a new computer. I cannot share, wait a minute, please. Can you listen to me? Can you listen, yes? Yes, teacher, I'm listening. Okay. Um. Can you see my screen? Can you see the screen? Yes? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes, teacher. So we have uh, uh, more. More vocabulary related to clothes. We have a bottom down shirt like a formal a formal shirt for gentlemen a button down shirt belt slacks and also uh pants but formal it's the the it, uh, they are different right the mm, the texture the dress shoes Okay, dress shoes. That that's uh, a classic style, very classic, an old-fashioned style. And then we have a jacket, sweater, cargo pants. And they are also <laughs> old-fashioned tennis shoes. Okay, and it's supposed a cool and casual style. Then we have t-shirt, purse. Okay, this is, it's smaller. It is smaller like a, than the bag or a handbag. Okay, purse, plaid skirt. Okay, plaid, it's this, right? Um, Antes se utilizaban, esta, estuvieron de moda, the plaid skirts. Nowadays, no. Okay, striped tights. Um, and this is a funky style. Okay, so this is vocabulary. Then um, we have a uh, here. We are going to, to do this, this listening part. Okay, I, I know that you already uh, did, but we are going to check the, the answers. Okay, let me know if you can listen the, the audio. Can you listen? No. 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 Now, page sixty, exercise four, listening. Who is it? Part A. Now, can you listen? Yes. 
Okay. Yes. Yes. Listen to descriptions of five people. Number them from one to five. I think Brian's good looking. He's pretty tall with dark brown hair and a mustache. He's about 30. Okay, I think Brian is good looking. Good looking. Okay. Good looking. Okay, he is pretty tall. Pretty tall. Okay, he has dark brown hair and Mustache. 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 Okay. Two. Tina's 18. She's got red hair, shoulder length, and very curly. And she always wears interesting glasses, just for fun. Three. Okay, number two. Tina is 18. She's, she, got, she's got red hair. Red hair. Red she, hair. Red hair. Okay. She has shoulder length hair and very curly. 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 Okay. Number two. Three. Rosie is pretty tall for her age. She has long blonde hair and wears contact lenses. She just turned 10. Four. Tim. Okay. Rosie is very, very tall. tall. Pretty or very? Pretty. Pretty, pretty tall. Pretty. pretty. Right. Pretty tall for her tall. age. She has a long, long blonde hair. Long, long hair. Long hair. Okay, and wears contact lenses. She just turned 10. Contact lenses. 10. Four. Tim's about 23. He's fairly short and a bit heavy. His hair isn't very long. Five. Okay, Tim's about 23. He's fairly short. Fairly short. Fairly short. Okay. And a bit. Heavy. 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 His hair isn't very long. Alice is very tall and she's got long black hair. She's around 25. Oh, and she's very slim. She looks like a fashion model. Alice? Page 60. Oops. Exercise very 4. Tall. Is very tall. Very. Very tall. Very, very tall. tall. Very tall. And she has long black hair. She's around slim. five. And she's very slim. 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 Um, okay, what's the difference between thin and slim? Muy delgado. Both? Both are similar, but what's the difference? La verdad es que no entendí la diferencia. Muy flaquito. Which one? También. Flaquito. Muy flaquito, slim. Y skinny, flaquito. Ajá, skinny. Eh, no, tenemos thin. Thin. Ajá. Slim. 
well and thin, but between thin and slim, que una se ocupa para digamos the girls y otras para boys, no? No. Well. Could, uh, demasiado delgado. Thin, it's in general, in general, thin. But slim is, por eso dice, she looks like a fashion model. Okay, slim is like, um, not, o sea, thin es como flaco, flaco. And slim es delgado, pero con forma. Mm. En forma. Ajá. O como sea, no, eh, 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 no es gordo, es delgado, pero... Top model. Ajá, like a top model. Yes. Oh. Ok. Ok, excelente. Then we have the conversation. Which one is he? Hello, nice to have you back. In this lesson, you will listen to a conversation where two people use modifiers with participles and prepositions. As you listen to the conversation. Okay, modifiers, participles, and what else? Which was the last one? Modifiers. Present simples. Present simple, no. Modifiers. Well, let's listen. Try to identify the use of participles and prepositions. In the next video, we will teach you how and when to use each. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh. Well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Well, why don't you go and talk? Okay, tell me the modifiers. Tell me the modifiers. She is the tall, she's the tall one in is like the, the description. Which one? Repeat, please. Uh -huh. um. She's the tall? Yeah. The tallest. The to she oh. is the tall? The and tall. the ultimo párrafo. Oh, she is the tall one. Okay, that's a modifier. Ya vimos los modifiers, right? Modifiers. Lo otro eran prepositions, que también ya las vimos. And, uh, well, modifiers. Can you see some modi o, o, ¿Qué era lo, eh, el modifier? ¿Qué era lo que modificaba? Now. Uh -huh. The now. The now. The now. The now. Okay. So can you see a modifier here in the conversation? Uh, 
Hello? No. Teacher, yo no entiendo qué son los modifiers. Yo creo que quizá no estuve en esa clase. Yes, was on Monday or was it last week? I don't remember. The woman, Miss. The woman. The woman. No. Uh, Okay, como decía yes. de sus compañeras, modifiers applies to nouns. Okay, when when you have to or want to express something else about the, a noun. Okay, we have um. Che, quizás para entenderlos un poquito mejor, porque yo sí también tengo la duda en ese aspecto, lo podía expresarlo en español, porque hay unas cositas que sí varían, los, los modifiers, por lo menos. Los modifiers, ok. Uh -huh. Muy bien, vimos que los modificadores son palabras que nos va, van a ir relacionadas con nouns. Pueden ser lugares, personas, objetos. Y eh, nos decían, bueno, los que vimos eran relacionados a quanti Bueno, esos eran quantifiers. Eh, but with the modifiers, you can also eh, add or express something else. A, eh, como de agregar información o expresar algo más acerca de la palabra que modifica. Entonces, ¿creen que hay algún modifier in the conversation? It supposedly they are. She went, concert. Okay. She went to a concert. Maybe. She went to a concert. It's a place. A ver. She went to a concert, no. Bueno. En el módulo, Miss, perdón. Yes. Aparece en negrita, the woman, the third one, the people, the ones. Pero no sé si esos son los modificadores. Ah, okay. Porque aparece yeah. la pregunta, who's list? Yeah. She's the woman. The third one. The third one, okay. The third one, ajá. Uh -huh. Okay, entonces, entonces, woman, sí, es, sí es modifica, sí es modificador. Mm, I didn't see as a modifier. Eso sería más como, como indicando o quién, o sea, the woman wearing glasses. Pero ese sí, the one, o uh, uh, the one, no, pero o sea, which one, which one. Okay, one, yes, which one is she? The tall one, okay, the tall one also, okay, the tall one. Because it's, it's talking about the, the lady, the, the woman. And what about the prepositions? ¿Qué preposition? She, she <laughs> in, the, in the window. Teacher, pero right. es que yo me siento perdida con los modifiers. Right. Uh -huh. Yo no, sí, no, sé, no he hecho ahorita, no estoy, estoy, ahorita estoy leyendo sus comentarios. Uh -huh. Ajá. Miss, preposition uh -huh. in. Prepositions. Vaya, empecemos con las prepositions. Eso sí, one, sí las recuerdo. Hicimos in. ejercicios de las prepositions. Vaya. Ajá, in, yes. Entonces está in, in jeans, ok. What else? 
Next to. Next to. Okay. And in front. In front of. Between. On, de, la, de las que están on aquí the, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the conversation. Near. Near. Near the window. Okay. Over. Over there. Okay. Over there. Yes. Opposite. ¿Cuál? La op oposición opósito. La oposición. Prepos preposiciones. Preposiciones. To referring a place. Hace referencia a un lugar. A place. Only that? Yes. Two. Okay, dijeron over, yes. Near, yes. And. Solo eso, dijeron. And two, teach. Okay. Two. 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 Ah, yes. Talk to. Uh huh. Uh huh. Don't you go and talk to Julia? Yes. Correct. Okay. Muy bien. Aquí están lo de los modifiers. Estas le leía yo, las que aparecen al centro, donde dice the woman, the tall one, the people. Ok. Ah, muy bien. Y como los está utilizando, dice, with participles, con participios y con preposiciones. Entonces, esas son las partes de la oración que va a modificar. Entonces, si se recuerdan, les mencionaba que los modifiers pueden modificar diferentes cosas. Que okay, pueden modificar eh, de, eh, diferentes cosas. Pueden modificar verbos, pueden modificar adjetivos, pueden modificar sujetos. Entonces, en este caso, dice que de, se van a utilizar con participios y con preposiciones. Los participios son los verbos que eh, es, terminan o tienen terminación ING, como los que aparecen ahí, wearing and talking. Ok, entonces, como decía su compañera, ¿por qué the man está modificando wearing? Y por qué está como ligando o modificando, en este caso, a, al verbo wearing. ¿Okay? Al, o, a, o se está refiriendo a la persona que está talking, que está wearing a green shirt. Entonces, eh, en este caso sería the man and the one. But it's like to referring, to referring to who is doing that action or, or sobre quién, digamos, en este caso, wearing, sobre quién es, eh, eh, está recayendo la, la acción de wearing. O sea, quién, quién lo está usando? Ah, el hombre. O quién está hablando con Liz. A el que está, aquel que está hablando con Luis. Entonces, están relacionados con esos participios. Luego, eh, tenemos otros con prepositions. Ok, ah, tenemos with, in, Excuse me. next to, and on. Yo no he contado, pero no recuerdo haber visto los modificadores. No, no, no los habíamos visto. You are right. 
porque hasta aquí no habíamos llegado, habíamos trabajado, esta, eh, to, aquí empezamos ahora. Ajá. Yes, no habíamos sí, visto. Hemos estudiado los quantifiers. Los quantifiers, correcto. Sí. Yes. Sí, no los habíamos visto, you're right. Eh, entonces está igual, referring to, it, to people, in this case, eh, or to link the people with the preposition. Okay, she's the woman with, she's the tall one in, they're the people next to, they're the ones on the couch. Okay, entonces tenemos la preposición para indicar quién o quiénes están en ese lugar, porque recuerden que las prepositions eh, en su mayoría son en referencia a places. Okay, aunque in this case, with, no, or in jeans also. Entonces, si vimos, por ejemplo, cuando vamos a utilizar in, cuando vamos a utilizar on, eh, y es cuando, dependiendo de, de si estamos hablando de manera general, si estamos hablando de lugares, etcétera, etcétera. Entonces, ahí, eso sí, ya, ya lo habíamos visto. Entonces, pero está, entonces sería como para especificar, dar como especificar más eh, y relacionar con estas, estas dos formas, con participios y con preposiciones. Y entonces hagamos el ejercicio. Dice, rewrite the statement, the, sta the statements using modifiers with participles or preposition. Y ahí tenemos el primer ejemplo. ¿Qué dice? Clark is the tall guy. He is wearing a button-down shirt and cargo pants. Que okay. en este caso vamos a crear una sola oración. Vamos a unir las dos oraciones. Okay. Clark is the tall guy. Vamos a quitar el como como va a desaparecer el punto. Entonces vamos a quitar el sujeto porque es el mismo Clark. Okay, the tall guy wearing a button-down shirt and cargo pants. Um, yes, are you following me? Adam and Luis. Okay, veamos the Exercise two. Adam and Luis are the good look, the good looking couple. They're okay. talking to Tom. Estamos there. Uh -huh. Y ponemos Adam and Luis are the good looking couple talking to Tom. Talking to Tom. Yes. Correct. Entonces, the modifier in this case sería. The, the good looking couple. Okay, or would be the ones talking to Tom. So, si quisiéramos cambiarlo o acortarlo. Then we have number three. Line is the young girl. She's in a strip. T-shirt and blue jeans. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo nos quedaría? Sería line is the young girl she wearing. I also look wearing a stripped t-shirt and blue jeans. Wearing, podríamos wearing. Dejar, yes, podríamos dejar wearing, porque ya decimos aquí lean, 
Entonces ya no ocuparíamos el she, sino que solo lo uniríamos de girl wearing a stripper t-shirt en blue jeans. Uh -huh. Ok. Si quisiéramos quitar los nombres, podríamos también quitar el nombre y utilizar el, sí. el pronombre. She, si yo no quiero eh, poner eh, line, sino que she, she, y, o si lo, lo queremos hacer de forma general, que she is the one, in, uh, she is the one wearing a strip t-shirt and blue jeans. Okay? O podríamos hacerlo también. The line is a young girl wearing a strip t-shirt and blue jeans. Number four. Jessica is an attractive woman. She's sitting to the left of Antonio. Yes. ¿Cómo nos quedaría? Jessica is the attractive woman sitting to, to the left of Antonio. Sitting to the left of Antonio. Ok. Y utilizando alguno de los modifiers que está acá, de los que tenemos acá, quitando Jessica. Sería, she is the woman attractive. She's sitting to the left of Antonio. She's the, uh -huh. she's the attracting woman. Okay. Sitting to the left of Antonio. Mm -hmm. Yes. Correct. Sería como para no hacer tan larga la oración. O sea, uh -huh. como más contractada, por así decirlo. Yes. Uh, okay. Thank you. In number five, AJ is a serious looking boy. He is listening to his new salsa CD. Mm, a CD. Okay. So what else could I do? AJ is the serious looking boy. The man, the man listening to the to his new salsa city. Okay. Si vamos a usar uno de 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 estos de los que están en negrita de los modifiers, quitemos el el nombre propio. Quitemos AJ. Okay, podría ser. He is the man or he is a serious uh, looking man. Okay, en este caso, eh, como es un boy, okay, boy is a kind of different of man. Man it's older, older. And boy could be a teenager. Um, would be, uh, well, but serious looking. Uh, it's a kind of young, and men, it's like uh, an adult. Okay, that's, it's a quite different. Okay, entonces, eh, podríamos dejar también the one. Okay. He is the uh, serious looking, or, or he is the one serious looking boy listening to his new salsa theme. Okay. Veamos ahora los, I think are, are the same examples in the, in the platform, right? Or are they different? Son los mismos ejercicios los que les aparecen ahí. ¿O no les aparecen eso? Sí, son los mismos. Sí, son los mismos. Yes. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. uh, here is the video. Well, but it's the same. Ahí aquí le dan ya las opciones de una sola vez. Vaya. A ver, hagamos esto. Wait. Where are you? Mm. Okay, aquí le dan las opciones de una sola vez. Number one, Lisbeth. Lisbeth? Clara, Clara is the tall guy wearing a button down skirt and cargo pants. Okay. Button down shirt. Shirt. Y aquí está como bien obvio. Porque si se recuerdan, la regla que vimos es que lo íbamos a utilizar con participios. O sea que nuestro verbo tiene que ir en ING. Y aquí en este caso no aplica. Ok. So, thank you. Yes. Um, Sandra, number two. Ahorita quiero verificar. Um, looking. Um, yeah. no, estamos, oh, no, sería el primero. Adam. Um, Are. Yes. Sí. Because it's plural. Sí. Plural. Plural. Adam and Lou. Louis, I think. Luke. Okay. Yes, are the good looking couple talking to Tom. Okay, number three. Roberto Carlos, number three. Okay. Uh, is a number, maybe, a number two. Number two. Are you sure? There is only a letter of difference. I was looking yeah. like, what's the difference? The okay, but if you read here, strip. ED, termine ED. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's the number one. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Number four. Uh, Catherine. Number four is... Jessica is the attractive woman sitting to the left of Antonio. Yes. Okay. Number one. Number yes. one, correct. Because uh, women, it's plural. It's plural. Que okay. son como las cascaritas que ponen a veces en los examens. Okay. Number five. Lucia. Uh, number five, ella is the serious good looking boy. He's listening to him. Number one or two? Two. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number one, yes. listening. Listening, correct. Okay. Yes. 
Muy bien, con esto, bueno, tienen que tener terminado mañana hasta la mitad, ¿verdad? De la, de, de la otra. Mañana vamos a hacer, les voy a, a traer eh, más información acerca de los modifiers, por si no les quedó, si hay dudas, vamos a hacer más ejemplos y más ejercicios. Okay, we have visit to New Orleans. Okay, we are, we are going to practice um, in pairs, the conversation. I... I will find the conversation, this one. Okay, so I'm going to... Send it to the breakout rooms. You will have only five minutes to practice. Tenemos que. Les mando la foto. O ya la tienen. No, mándela, por favor. <laughs> ok. Ay, de estas rooms. ¿Dónde salen? We are 22, so 10. Okay, five minutes to practice. I will send you the conversation. Go to the breakout rooms. No les hace, ah, no les hace muy más. Hoy sí. Go. Ya les mando eh, la foro. Me regresó, teacher. Really? Sí. Eh, me tiró la invitación y después me volví a sacar. ¿Y las demás? ¿Por qué no han ingresado? ¿Vas a ir a Breakfast Rooms? Yo me equivoqué y yo le puse que por apretarlo el mouse se me trabó y se me salió. Ok.
No le salió, ya no le llegó, ya no pudieron entrar al. No, teacher, a mí ya no me salió y yo no quiero entrar. Igual, teacher, a mí ya no me cayó nada. Y ahora, no, eso yo se había trabado en mi inter, quizás. Hola, ya ves, teacher, que no es solo uno. Sí, no me conectaba, me tuve que salir y volver a entrar. Es que está. I'm going to cerrar mejor. I don't know what is happening. Okay, let's practice here. I think we are going to practice together. Okay. I don't know what is happening, but we're going to practice here. Okay, two volunteers. Okay, and Roberto. Okay. Can they you start? Okay. Hi, Roberto. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, oh, she called him. Maybe she went to concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't go? Why, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know any anyone here. Julia, which one is she? Is she a woman wearing glasses over here, over there? No, she's a tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I like to meet her. Okay, thank you. Two more volunteers. I know it's time. And only let me check the attendance. Okay, sorry. I don't know what is happening tonight with the internet or the connections or my computer, I don't know, but I hope tomorrow will be better, okay? Uh, Jocelyn. Yeah, Jocelyn? Hi, teacher. Yes, okay. Sande. Here. Karen. I'm here. Karina. Presentation. Carla. I'm here. Catherine. Present. Leslie. Lisbeth. Lucia. Present. Luz Virginia. Margarita. Here. 
María de Los Ángeles. Martín. Hi, teacher. Miley. Present. Melissa Guadalupe. Present, teacher. Present, teacher. Excellent. Michelle. Present, teacher. Roberto Carlos. Roberto Eduardo. Rodi, me trabé. Selma. I'm here. Okay. Stephanie. I'm here. And Victoria. Okay, that will be all for today. Don't miss tomorrow, last class of the week. Get rest and have a good night. Bye bye. Bye. Good night. 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 Good night.